Berchtesgadener Land is a region in Upper Bavaria and it has been on my travel wish list for a while. And in this video we would like to show you its traditional and regional specialities. The first restaurant that I would love to show you is called Lederstuben and it's located in Bechtesgaden city center. The restaurant specializes in cooking modern Bavarian cuisine with regional ingredients. As you know, we usually go for strictly traditional food, but because this restaurant was recommended to us, we decided to give it a go. The restaurant was very modern and stylish, but not over the top. The dish's choice on the menu was pretty small, but I'm not sure that might be because of the corona. But they did also have some specials of the day, so we decided to go for two of them. To drink, I went for Batsman Alpen Limonade, which is a soft drink with a wild meadow taste. The soft drink was very refreshing and it really tasted like flowers, leaves and grasses uh, from the high mountain meadows. Food-wise, Matthias went for beef meatballs with potato kraut and beans ragu. And I went for pan-fried bread dumplings with chantarelle, broccoli and Bavarian goat cheese. The fried dumplings were crispy from outside and soft from inside and the whole thing had a buttery taste. The mushrooms, broccoli and goat cheese went perfectly together. The portion size was medium, but it was definitely enough for me. And I got very inspired, so for sure the next time when I'll be making bread dumplings, I would try to make it in this variation. Matthias was also very happy with his beef meatballs. When I tried them, I have realized that they were seasoned very well and they were definitely still very juicy from inside. The potatoes, cabbage and the sauce had also amazing taste. Just the beans were undercooked and therefore he didn't eat them. While preparing for this tour, I read that in Bessie's Garden there is a place where you can buy wild meat from the Bavarian state forest so I really wanted to get some white meat from there. As you know we are traveling with a caravan so we love cooking also from the local ingredients while being on holiday and I thought that this is a great opportunity to get some wild sausages and try them out. The sausages turn out to be a mixture from pork and wild meat and they were delicious. But who doesn't like a good bratwurst? That wasn't the end of our local food shopping yet. We also went to the Altenküche, which is the restaurant that produces pralines that have a shape of the Watzmann, which is beautiful mountain that you can see from Bestesgaden. They are called Watzmann Praline and uh, they come in three different versions. So one is made of milk, chocolate with a hazelnut nougat filling, then dark chocolate with marzipan filling and also white chocolate with a crunchy strawberry filling. The next restaurant that I can truly recommend is called Wirtshaus Hocheck and this one was located next to the tourist attraction that is called Wimbach Klamm. This was very typical traditional Bavarian restaurant with traditional Bavarian food. The restaurant was pretty big inside and had a beautiful for garden outside. The dishes that I found on the menu really made me smile. They served dishes not only from south of Germany but also from Austria. They also served smaller portions which are called in Germany Seniorentella. I can assure you that the Seniorentella has a portion size exactly for a short lady. We have decided to go for Weiss beer. We are in Bavaria after all and I decided to go for their regional Teufels toast. I've seen this dish on many menus in many restaurants in this area so I was very curious how that's gonna taste and Matthias went for the traditional pork roast. So that one is my Franziskaner Weiss beer uh, which was served with a little bit of the blood orange juice and here it was my Teufels toast so the devil's 
toast in small and that dish consisted of not breaded schnitzel that was covered with a lot of cocktail sauce and raw onion. The schnitzel was also served with jalapeno, salad and chips. Yes, chips, not crisps. And I was extremely happy with my choice. The schnitzel was still very juicy. The sauce, a bit spicy, but I think if you don't like spicy, you would still like it. So not too much. The chips were also seasoned with a kind of a special um, chips seasoning. Some restaurants and quick service restaurants uh, do that sometimes, some not, but I find the chips with the seasoning very good. That dish really made my day. And as mentioned before, Matthias went for the traditional pork roast, which is actually a dish that you can find uh, in uh, most regions of Germany. But the beauty of trying it in the different regions is that it's served with a different ingredients and it's prepared in a different way. In Bavaria, very typical is to serve with a bread dumplings and the sauce that is made of uh, beef broth and the dark beer as well as cold cabbage salad and that was exactly how it was served in this restaurant. Overall we were very happy with this restaurant also with a customer service which is not always perfect in such a traditional places and if we stayed there longer we would definitely come back to this restaurant. After this incredible lunch uh, we decided to go to a bakery which was not that far away from this restaurant and uh, that bakery was called uh, Niedermeyer. I read on the Bestes Garden Culinary blog uh, that they produce not only their own pastry but they also make noodles and because I love to eat German egg noodles with all saucy dishes I had decided decided to get one and our last food stop that day was a farm where they produce ice cream and that one was called Stückelhof. The farm is actually located pretty high in the mountains and halfway there Matthias really asked me if we really have to go there but I really didn't want to give up on trying regional farm ice cream. The farm shop was actually pretty tiny but for the size of the shop they really had a lot of sortiment. Matthias went for nougat and I went for pear. I think it was definitely worth to drive up there and not only because of the ice cream taste but also because of the view. The next day the weather was very sunny and therefore we have decided to take a hike in the mountains and as you can see the first hike that we did was actually with a cable car but then we really got off and we walked for two and a half hours I think it took to get to the top of the mountain. Uh, the mountain was called Jena. On the way down we have decided to eat something uh, in the alpine pasture. We both went for a big glass of Almduda which is the Austrian uh, herbal soft drink. I have mentioned the traditional Bavarian Weisswurst in many of uh, my videos. Also recently in the parboiled uh, sausage video. But here I would like to remind you that, that uh, Weisswurst is a Bavarian sausage that is made from a minced veal as well as pork bacon. Usually it is flavored with a uh, parsley, lemon, mace, onion, ginger and cardamom. It's got very typical taste. The Weisswurst is always served with a sweet mustard and also pretzel as well as Weiss beer. Traditionally we wouldn't eat the casing of the Weisswurst and there are a few traditional uh, ways of eating this particular sausage. One of it is Zutzel. The Bavarians are very particular about how this uh, Weisswurst should be eaten and I remember there was a video uh, of Mark Wiens uh, a few years ago that he posted from Munich and he was eating Weisswurst. I don't really remember how he ate it but he definitely ate it in the wrong way and the Bavarians just went crazy. I don't know why but we just care about those things. But anyway I went for Leberkäse which is called in Bavaria and Fleischkäse in the rest of the Germany which is very finely grinded uh, meat that is placed uh, into a loaf uh, pan and then uh, cooked. There are many varieties of uh, Leberkäse and there are many methods of uh, eating this particular product. As a main meal uh, we enjoy it with a potato salad or sauerkraut and mine was also pan fried wattage. 
treat. And the next city that I would like to encourage you to visit when you are in this area is called Bad Reichenhall. Bad Reichenhall is not only a spa town but also a center of salt production. Right in front of you you can see a salt museum that also contains a salt shop that we have actually visited. Bad Reichenhall salt is very famous here in Germany and you can get the standard one in almost every supermarket. But in this shop they had also uh, different salts so they did have uh, spray salt as well as a coarse salt and even salt candy so that was actually our salt shopping and for those of you who love sweets Bad Reichenhall is also a home to a very famous Mozart Kugeln factory which is called Reba. We really wanted to visit this factory because just right next to it uh, there was a factory outlet where we could buy all the pralines for cheaper. And thankfully in this shop we not only found our favorite Reba Mozart Kugeln but also many more pralines uh, that we wanted to try. We found there pralines with many different fillings like uh, brittle nuts, nougat and marzipan, truffle and marzipan, uh, even black forest pralines uh, that were filled with uh, cherry spirit, marzipan and uh, little pieces of cherries, as well as white chocolate pralines uh, that were filled with hazelnut nougat and raspberry marzipan. So very, very interesting combinations. And the last factory uh, with a shop that we really wanted to visit is called uh, Bestes Gardener Land and they produce milk products. If you live in Germany, you have seen their products in the supermarkets 100%. What is interesting is that this company was established by 54 farmers and that was in 1927. And now it consists of 1,700 farmers, which is very impressive. In in 1973 they started producing organic dairy product and that was the first factory that started with the organic products in Bavaria. The products with the blue label are the organic ones and with the green label are those non-organic ones. That was surely a shopping. Windbeute Baron is a Bavarian restaurant uh, that has a wonderful view and plenty variations of the cream puffs that you can have with your coffee. They had there 11 different cream puffs and those were really huge. Matthias went for one with a hazelnut uh, liqueur, walnut ice cream and cream. And I went for one with a raspberry sauce, cream and vanilla ice cream. And I have really barely managed to eat it. And I will be honest here with you, I am used to the cream puffs to be filled with a vanilla cream and this is how I like them. Therefore, the normal cream and ice cream and the sauces couldn't really replace the lack of the vanilla cream that I was expecting. So I am pretty sure that I wouldn't go back to eat the cream puffs there again. But if you are a fan of the cream puffs that are filled with cream and additional ingredients, it's definitely something I could recommend. Obviously, in those three and a half days, we weren't able to eat all Bavarian specialities. Therefore, I just wanted to mention very quickly what else you can try on your trip to Bestes Garden. So the first recommendation would be a cheese spread that is called Obatsta. Then the sausage salad, a soup with pancakes or liver dumplings. Spätzle, which are a German soft egg noodles um, that are sometimes also served with uh, cheese this is delicious also potato dumplings served with sauerkraut and bacon pork knuckle and now we're gonna move on to the sweet section we've got here yeast dumplings filled yeast dumplings yeast bun dumplings with apricots or plums and one and only Prince Regenten Torte. And by the way, in the description box down below, you're gonna find all the food that I've mentioned in this video. Okay, now you are fully equipped. Okay, so this is it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy our holiday edit, uh, this culinary trip to Bestes Garden. And I really hope that I did help you to find the right places to go for food in this area. If you actually speak German, I will put in the description box down below the link uh, to this culinary blog that I found that helped me a lot. So I wish you all a lovely week and I see you in the next one. Bye!